All right. Well, we're going to be starting really soon. Here we are, ready to go, and hope you guys are all excited and ready. It's uh, it's going to be a, a wonderful day today. I've got uh, lots to go through as normal and uh, lots for us to recap and uh, review before we we kick off and kick into it. So let me ask all of you, who's had a nice four days? Who's had a good week this week? Has it been inspiring? Has it been thoughtful? I've had so much feedback from you guys. It's been absolutely awesome uh, to see all that life changing. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, James. Nice. Nice. Let's go back through the days, shall we? Let's just have a little bit of a, a recap over the last few days. Day one, we really talked about, you know, what a millionaire is and what may, how easy it is to make a million and things like that. I think for me, the big thing I want everyone to remember from the first day is, is that we, we limit ourselves based on our past and our past experiences, especially being from uh, mostly employee backgrounds. And, and that's, that's a big thing to understand is that because we're from employee backgrounds, uh, that's, uh, that's where we come from. That's where we operate those sort of things. And so that was a, a big thing for day one. Day two was about understanding your sabotage patterns. Who liked that? There was a lot that we covered uh, on that day about, uh, you know, about sabotage patterns. And that the big thing that everyone said to me was they love the fact that you got to give, you got to give, Chris. It's not about taking, you give. But then on day two, they said, you know, you loved all, all the patterns, all the sabotage patterns, the seven of them, and, and not that you don't have to go and heal them. Who loved healing that they weren't broken? There was nothing you needed to run away and heal. You're not broken. You're fine. You're fine. You've been fine. It got you to here. And now it's time to step forward. It is a waste of bloody time. You just reinforce the identity that you're not good enough. Love it. What about, what about day three? What stood out on day three? Who remembers me talking you through what it's like to actually be, you know, a millionaire? And I talked you through the, the beliefs of a millionaire and how it works and how it operates. Who remembers day three and who remembers the stories on day three? What about Joe and Bob having the correct map, the five monkeys story? <laughs> I have got some really special people on here with me tonight. So I have Cameron Bird uh, from Fast Track Business who's one of our head strategists. I believe I also have uh, Scott. No, he's not on yet. He will be soon. So say hi to Cameron Bird, who's on here. I also have Hannah Nyes and Rochelle, both on here, who are two top coaches in our business. And um, both Hannah and Rochelle are going to be very pleased to be working with uh, with a lot of you, uh, which is which is awesome. So really grateful to have such a supportive team and uh no one gets to stand here and deliver and create at the level that I get to without an absolutely rock star team behind me. And I love them so much. And so those of you get to know any of them, you will not be let down. That's for sure. That's for sure. I pinch myself, Rochelle, Hannah, Cam, Scott, Chris Holloway, Samantha, Britt. I pinch myself that you guys are the ones that we get to work together. It's very, very humbling. So what about day four? How did you guys like yesterday? How did you guys like yesterday? It was, it was big. Who remembers where they were? September 11, 2001. Who remembers that? Crazy, isn't it? And isn't it great to know that we have that ability? <laughs> was it just Tracy who liked being blue mist and floating through an amazing tunnel and getting completely surrounded and into your new vibration? Yeah, you are free. You are free. The meadow. Some of you love the meadow. I had a bunch of uh, a bunch of you 
uh, reached out to me saying, Chris, I just like, I lost myself. And then I woke up when you said, come back. I said, oh, that was cool. That sounds cool. So it was, it was big. It was big. And the key understanding over this week is uh, I want to let you know, I've taken my time to make sure that you understand it all as well. Who's noticed that, that I've spent some time building new mental models in your brain, helping you understand the reconsolidation moment, hoping you understand that change can happen. And there's a real purpose to that. Your conscious mind must agree to this. The conscious mind must understand and agree, and the unconscious must also. And so you have to, you have to allow yourself to learn this and obsess about this to be able to get the result that you want, uh, which is hugely, hugely valuable. So let me get my board up here in a good spot so I can doodle away and make some good drawings when I'm ready. So question, you guys ready for day five? think I'm all recording. There I am. So welcome. Welcome to day number five of the Millionaire Mind five-day challenge. Have you guys felt challenged this week? I hope you have. I hope that you sitting there listening to me has had an absolutely great week. It's been absolutely enjoyable. Today I've got nothing less than another great session planned. So today we're going to be going into the plan how to get it into real reality. Yes, we talked about the seed. We talked about the invisible. We talked about the emotion. And now it's time to make it real. So today, it's time for the plan. And so let's get into that plan, shall we? Let me go ahead and share my screen because I've got all sorts of stuff waiting for you, which is going to allow us to really get down and figure this out. So I hope that you've got a pen and paper, a glass of water. I hope that you are ready because this is day number five. How to magically manifest more money, which is the secret to think and grow rich. See, this is my goal today. I want you to understand for sure the science and techniques you must understand to change your attraction point and the exact week by week, play by play, Paint by number system guaranteed to develop your millionaire mind. It's a process I've been developing for 10 years. So let me ask you a question. Gravity exists, doesn't it? Gravity exists. Now, how many of you have flown on a plane? And so what happens is, is gravity exists. We know it. But when we fly on a plane, we, we kind of supersede gravity by the law of lift. True. So gravity exists, but it's superseded by lift, meaning in the same space, two laws can, can actually happen. Can you guys all see my slides, by the way? Yeah? Someone give me a hand up or a thumbs up or write a yes in the chat box if you can see it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad you can. So gravity exists, but it's superseded by lift. Does everybody understand that? So that's the same as one thing we've got to understand. Hard work exists. What's it superseded by? Hard work exists, guys. You can go out there and do hard work, but it's like gravity. It's slow. Does that make sense? You can, you can use the laws of hard work, but it's superseded by different laws. And those are the laws that I want to go through with you today. Because how many of you ever wondered this? Why is it that some people break through to millions and others don't? And if you've ever said... Ugh, if only I had more money, then I could. Then I could do this. Then I could do that. And see, this is the key to understand. A self-made billionaire invited me to speak with his friends. I spoke and I talked about my comeback story after losing it all, building it back. And they looked me straight in the eye, a billionaire, and said, Chris, you have to teach what you know. Said, Chris, it's the truth. It's just the truth. And I sat on it and sat on I didn't want to teach it. But here I am letting you all know I'm ready to teach it. See, you have to get in the future feeling now. Who's understood that this week? You must 
be in the future feeling now. Type in a yes if you get that. You must be there now. You don't have to wait. By waiting, you're reinforcing the wrong identity. You must get in your future feeling now. And we must let go of trying to get somewhere. And this is just, it's such a core. I want to just get the big screen going here for a second. I want to make sure that, that you get this, is you have a future. And this has an identity. And it has a feeling. And it has some results. And these are all interlinked. They're connected, you see? And then you have a now. If you take your now and you live these here, guess what has to happen? This. Because this feeling is connected with these results. This identity is connected with these results. So what is the one thing that we can tap into now? What is the one thing we can tap into now? The feeling, the identity. We can already be there now, and we know if we're there, the results are on their way. Does this make sense? This is literally a shortcut. Or in other words, it's the fast track. It's the fastest track to freedom. The fast, fastest track to freedom is knowing you can have it now. Is knowing you can have it right now and that everything else will show up. And so we can understand, hey, it's already done, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's about to show up, it's about to manifest, but you've got to be there now, and that's the key. And that's what we go into here. We don't look at the past, we don't try to do things, we don't go backwards. We just, we just be in it now. And that's the thing that I really hope you guys get from this week. And so here's how the whole program works, okay? And we're going to go through this all today. The first thing you must do is create a contribution-based clarity. Really, let me explain this. You must, you must decide how you're going to give. So contribution-based clarity basically how will I serve the world? How will I serve the world? What will I give to be given riches? If you are not clear, it's one of the first things we do. It's week one. We get clear on how you are going to give riches. Then you must times this by understanding neuroscience epigenetics, and the spiritual laws of money. So you take this and you multiply it in with neuroscience, spiritual laws of money, and epigenetics. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We're going into all this today. So don't worry, because this is new. The next thing is you must have daily action. And this will create what will seem like a magic manifestation. But you and I will know the truth that there was a system. It is an exact process to take anyone from struggle to six figures or seven figures of freedom. Who's with me right now? Who knows I'm speaking to them and gets this because what you've got to get, what you got to get is your natural hardwired conflicts, your safety mechanisms will stop you because your past is safe and proven. Your future is unsafe and unsafe and unsafe and unproven. I've only got one, one language I speak and I struggle with that, I can't even spell. But who remembers the family of monkeys story? Raise your hand or give me a yes if you understand and remember this that there's part of you that wants to stay the same and then part of you that wants to change. This is the biggest problem. You see, you'll do something like this for five days and you'll think that you've shifted. But on the truth, there's still a hardwired part of you sitting there that doesn't want the change to exist. 
So here's what we must do. We must stabilize the change. We must hold it. We must surround it by the right people, the right processes, and we must stabilize in the new way of otherwise the monkeys will just pull you back. Who knows? I've got a few monkeys in between their ears that will like to pull them back. <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. So here's some of the mistakes that people like you with families just like yours make. The first one is that you think something external is going to make your internal difference. You think something external. So when I get a relationship, then I'll feel love. When I make the money, then I'll feel rich. Something external will make me feel different internally. The second thing is you take advice from broke people around money, overweight people around health, single people around relationships. But most importantly, you take advice, write this down. The big mistake that people make is they take advice from people who have lives you would not trade yours for. Do not take advice from somebody who's not living the life you would like to live. The other mistake is trying to avoid failure, thinking that it's permanent. In fact, there's actually seven big mistakes that we make. And this is the first one. By the way, who's enjoying this? Did I get straight into it again? <laughs> no mucking around in this challenge. We don't have time for that. The first big mistake, not getting clear on what you really want and how you're going to serve the world. Huge mistake. If you don't choose how you're going to serve and give to the world and you don't start now, now is the youngest you're ever going to be. You don't get younger. It doesn't matter how old or young you are now. Now is where you start. You must get clear on how you're going to serve the world now. Step, uh, mistake number two, you are stuck in a limiting pattern and you're not, you're not allowing yourself to move out of it. You're not. You're not doing the meditations. You're not applying yourself. You're allowing yourself to take actions with inside your limits. It's a big mistake. It's safe and it's comfortable. Mistake number three, type in yes if this is you. Unconsciously, unconsciously, you've been actually living to make someone else happy. Mothers living for their children. Mothers, fathers sacrificing for their family. Huge. Doing what it is you're doing because you think your parents will be happy because you're doing it. Who's with me right now? You're following this? Big mistake, living to make someone else happy. That's going into this, the sabotage pattern that I'm invisible. I'm not, I'm not worthy. I'm powerless. I'll live for them. I'll do what they want. Mistake number four, you didn't ever do what I'm talking about the last five days. You never shifted your core beliefs. You just kept on trying to create something new without changing you. This is like putting clean water in a dirty fishbowl. It will never, ever, ever happen. Mistake number five. Trying to find proof of your future success in your past. I want you to understand this. All successful people have to believe in their future with no proof in their past. Hear me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in. I'm going to make sure you can see me and hear me on this. I want you to make sure you get this. There is no proof in your past that you're going to be successful. It's not there. You have to take the leap. You have to believe. Edison didn't know that he'd ever invent the bulb. No way, he did know. But there was no proof in his past. You couldn't look at his past. You can't look at the past. There's no proof that Michael Jordan would win all those championships. There's no, type it in for me. I want you to get this. There's no proof in your past. You can't go, hey, well, I've, I've been a successful entrepreneur before. Yeah, cool. So now, I should, now I'm going to do this. It doesn't work that way. Write it down. There is no proof in my past. There's no proof in anyone's past. Here's the truth. All successful people have to believe in a future vision without the proof. The belief, the identity comes first. 
who think that's an important point to remember. There is no proof. Yeah. Huge. That's mistake number five. You won't find any. Six, you're out of emotional alignment with what you truly desire. You desire freedom, but every single day you live in scarcity. You desire confidence, but you live in anxiety. You haven't understood one of the processes like the one we did last night. You're out of emotional alignment with what you desire. This is called cognitive dissonance, which is a big topic. Mistake seven, you do not have a mentor or mentors who are where you want to be doing what you want to do that you have there to help you. You must have mentorship from men and women who are where you want to be. So there's a five-step method to make sure you don't make these mistakes. Did everybody, did everybody, I'm going to stop having this on a big screen because I can't see it and see you. There we go. I'm going to do this. That's okay. You guys don't mind that you can see the slides on the side, can you? Because now I can actually see you guys are here. This, this, this is still all right, isn't it? Because when I go full screen, I can't see your chat box. So the, the, the seven here, number one, not clear on what you really want. Who wants to type these in? Number one, not clear on what you really want, only what you do not want. If you're on Facebook, if you're watching this, write it in so others can see. Number two, you're stuck in a limiting pattern. Number three, you're living to make someone else happy. Number four, you've not shifted core beliefs. Number five, trying to find proof of your future success in your past. Number six, out of emotional alignment. I went really fast, didn't I? And seven, you don't have mentors. Cool. There we go. Someone's got them all, all written there for you. That's here. Thank you, uh, Karen. Cool. So we've all got them. Way too fast to type. I'm sorry. Karen nailed it. Awesome. So those are the mistakes that smart people make. And it's okay to make those. It's what most of us have done, but today we want to change those. So there's five steps to, to manifest anything fast. And to ensure, I want to let you know that this has been passed down to me. Now, before I go into it, type in your numbers. Which ones out of these mistakes are you making? Which ones are of these are you making? Are you not clear on what you really want? Are you stuck in a limiting pattern? Are you living to make someone else happy if you're not shifted? Yeah. What about trying to find proof in your past? What about being out of emotional alignment and not having mentors who are where you want to be? Nice. It's good to just have a look at yourself. It's good to have self-awareness. Awesome. So here's the five steps, okay? I've already alluded to the first step, which is creating contribution-based clarity. Contribution-based clarity. The second, after you create that, we're going to do this all today, is you must align your mind. Number three, transmute your emotions. Number four, you must have a massive action plan. And five, you must have peer review. So let me go down in this in detail how it works. You guys ready to make it happen? You're ready to do some work? So here's the first thing I want you to write down. Let's get your contribution-based clarity. How much do you wish to receive financially each year? Type it in. How much do you personally wish to receive personally? Type it in. So you might write something down like I want to receive $400,000, a million dollars, 150, whatever it is, right? Let's say... Five hundred thousand dollars, or five hundred thousand pounds, or euros. But type it in, write it down, whatever it is you want to receive. Fantastic, fantastic. The next question is, who are you going to serve? So who will you serve? So for me, I'm going to serve conscious maniacs on a mission. who want 
to make great money and make a difference. Do I have any conscious maniacs on a mission on this call right now? Give me a yes or a woohoo or a that's me. Who are my conscious maniacs on a mission? Because I look forward to serving you who want to make great money and make a difference. So the first thing is you've got to get really clear on who you're going to serve, okay? The next thing, and look, don't worry if you don't have this. This is the first thing we do in the 12-week process. The second is what? What are you going to do for them? What are you going to give them? So I have the world's number one training and education system. Everything from mindset to strategy to coaching. That's what I have. What are you going to do for them? I love being a maniac on a mission. Right, Rochelle, same. And so what are you going to give them? You might need to ruminate on these. And then you've got to ask yourself, well, what is the short and what is the long term? Okay, we call this lenses. And for those of you who join our program, we create a lens. And you do it one-on-one -on -one with one of our coaches. We want you to create a one-year goal. Then break it down to 90 days, then 30. Can you still see that? Then 30 days. Then you want to create one week, and then you break it down to one day. And this is like a domino. You knock over your day, knocks over your week, knocks over your month, knocks over your quarter, knocks over your year, knocks over your life. And it's like a lens. I want you to, uh, the flip chart is hardly visible. Oh, yeah, because of the screen share. Yeah, sorry. Right, thank you. There you go. That's why I have people like Hannah around looking at me. So I've got up here who? Conscious maniacs on a mission who want to make great money and make a difference. I have what? The number one training and education system as mindset, strategy, and coaching. Then what is the short and the long? I have lenses. So what is your one year, your 90, your 30 day? What is your one week, your one day? You knock over the one day, you hit your week, hits your 30, hits your 90, hits your year. And this is crucial to understand. So thanks, Hannah. Thank you. You're not a maniac on a mission, Deborah. I beg to differ. You are. Who, who's here a conscious maniac on a mission? You just know you're on a mission to make great money and serve the world. Give me a yes if that's you, by the way. Who am I conscious maniacs on a mission? Where are you guys all at? You know you are. You know, you guys know, by the way, that we're all a bit weird on this call, right? Like we have a different vibe, a different way. Let me ask you, are you the black sheep in your family? Do you turn up to like Christmas and birthdays? Everyone's like, what is she on about? Or do you kind of hide all the things that you really care about? I know you are. I know you are. I know you're like me and you, you know, you look at all the consciousness and understand that, you know, we're nothing but a a quantum particle floating on the wave of consciousness that's being collapsed from all possibilities. And you understand that we're fractal. The more you look down, the more we look up and you understand that we're source. And you, you and I know that we're like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Maniacs on a mission. I like it. I like it. Cool. So here's how to get the clarity. So you've got the contribution-based clarity. The first thing we want to understand is what is a life worth living to you? What is a life worth living to you? Everyone says that they're not a maniac, that they're a unicorn. So I'm going to have to change it, everybody. Are you guys unicorns on a mission? Is that, is that what's happened here? Everyone's shifted from maniacs to unicorns. I'm a maniac. What happened? <laughs> so the first thing, there's a core four, fulfillment, financial freedom, Family, all right, good. Everyone's like, I'm. A, everyone says here they're a maniac. It's all right. Every, we've got half maniacs, half unicorns. Good, good, good. Fitness. So these are your core four that you must get clear on. The next thing we do is we align your mind. So remember, results are created by actions. Actions are in line with your potential, and your potential is limited by your belief systems. So we get really clear on that. Then. We do, <laughs> Wayne says maniacs are real, so we're here. 
And the unicorns are like, I'm a unicorn because everyone thinks I'm impossible. <laughs> so I love it. I love the battle going on here. Here's what I want you to know. I, I, you're just the right person for us. <laughs> Deborah says, unicorns are real too. <laughs> so step three is to transmute your emotions, okay? So you get really clear on how you're going to serve the world. You get really clear on what's true for you. Then you align your mind, you transmute your emotions, and then we create your ideal average week. I want you to write this down. You can have a bad moment. You can have a bad minute. You can have a bad hour. Heck, you might even have a bad day. Never, ever, 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 ever. Write this down. Write it and type it in. Comment under this video. Never have a bad week. Never. I will never have a bad week. Write it down. I will never have a bad week. I'm going to show you exactly how. You will never have a bad week. It's okay to have little misses, but never have a bad week. Here's how to make sure you never have a bad week. You must have three passions. Write this down. One passion that makes you money. You must have one passion that you love to do. You must have one passion that keeps you fit. Somebody write it in for me. Thank you. You must have three passions. We'll help you find these. One that makes you money. One you just love because you love it. And one keeps you fit. You must have three people in your life. You must have one mentor who is where you want to be, at least. You must have one tribe who is on the same path as you. Give me a heck yeah if you found your tribe this week. You must have one tribe. You've got to find your crew. You've got to find your people. You've got to have them around you. They are so important. Heck yes. And you must have one mentee, somebody that you're showing the way to. One of the best things in my life is having my team that I get to just mentor and teach and coach. I love it. I have, I think at the moment, we have just over 23, 24 staff across three different companies. We end up with about 40 something staff when I count up the whole, but, but 24 main. And I'm so grateful that I get to share and mentor. So have these three people. You must have one new skill that you're learning every single week, just one, that will increase your satisfaction in life. I like to call this one capability. You must have one capability. And you must have a morning routine. You must have a morning routine. How you start your day is how you will continue. You must get into the feeling of the end result and stay there. Quick recap, to create your ideal week, you must have three passions, one that makes you money, one you love to do, one that keeps you fit, three people, one mentor, one tribe, one mentee, one capability that you're always learning, and you must have a morning routine. This is your massive action plan. Look at that. Look at those notes. Thank you. Thank you. So the last step, okay, the last step is you must have peer review. Now, here's what's interesting. You can lie to yourself. True, type in a true if you can lie to yourself. Oh, I'm not, I can't, I'm not going to go to the gym today. Oh, I didn't eat that bad. You can lie to yourself. It's easy because you all want the lie to just sit. Here's the next thing. Your family and your friends shouldn't be the one giving you review on your progress. They should be your friends. They should be your friends because they can never repeat this. If you think your friends and your parents are your peer review, you're not getting it. Here's why. 
if you went to tell, if you went to tell your parents or your friends, I really want to move across the country because there's this amazing opportunity. They can't answer it without their feelings of what they want coming through. They can't. If your parents are invested in your career and you say, I want to start a business, they can't answer you without that still being a parent. Here's why. Your friends and your family have an emotional buy-in to what you do. This is crucial. You must be getting peer review from people that aren't your friends. That aren't your friends. This is hard for people because friends are there to be friends. Who's with me? Give me a yes if you understand this so I know it's landing because it's a tough one for us to swallow sometimes is you must get non-BS, no belief systems allowed, non-emotional review of your feedback every month. I know Karen. Karen says, well, what about a tribe? They can come friends. That's why the tribe's up here. It's not in peer review. You must get a peer review. It's something that we, we really, really are strong on is that you have someone else look and review where you're going. And they're not there to be your friends. They're either your mentor or somebody on the same path as you. Does this make sense? And you, you don't want to have to get advice from others. You want a peer review because you can't, you know, your peer, the person they're reviewing goes, hey, you know what? You said you're going to do this and you're in a sabotage pattern. What are you doing? It's massive. And so people think something like, oh, I don't understand how five simple steps can change your life. Well, let me share this with you. The truth is this. 64% of billionaires are self-made. Write this in, self-made. Because 64% of them are self-made, baby. They were just like us, self-made. J.K. Rowling, self-made. She wrote Harry Potter. She wrote it as a single mom. She, she was sitting on trains while she wrote it, self-made. Write it in, self-made. Mark Cuban owns a Dallas Mavericks. Billionaire, he's on Shark Tank in the, in the States, self-made. Albert Einstein, didn't even speak, not a billionaire, but very successful, didn't speak. He's definitely a seven-figure influencer, self-made. Jim Carrey, self-made. Steven Spielberg, self-made. Type it in, self-made. Oprah, self-made. Jay-Z, self-made. Guys, I want you to get this, is that 64% of billionaires are self-made. And I need you to feel that, write it in and go self-made because they are self-made so you can be too. And so some people say, well, the truth is I don't have time. And they say, well, I don't have time. Well, the truth is once you set up a course of action, it's just your morning routine. Some people say I have problems sticking to things. Well, that's true. Well, you don't have a problem sticking to the things that when you say that I can't stick to things, you can stick to that. See, here's what's true is when you say you've had problems sticking to things, it's because your identity hasn't shifted. Does that make sense? Because all of these started off just like us, all these people and more. So the truth is, is you've got everything you need, but we must understand how to change our thinking just like they did. And so you must make up your mind. Remember, a million isn't that much. It's a thousand thousands, 2,500, 3,000 times 334. It's not that much. Now, the, the interesting thing about that is a million is only $85 a month a thousand, times a thousand people. A million is only $170 a month from 500 people. It's not much. Obviously, these are over 12 months. But guys, here's something that's really interesting. <laughs> Someone says, a few of your lists are known to have sold themselves to the Illuminati. That's a story that's not going to help you. <laughs> it's not going to help you. 100K is only 3,000 times 34. It's not much. Look at that. $100,000 in freedom, it's only finding $100 times 85, right? 
It's only uh, $170 times 50. It, it, it's just it's just not it's just not much is it who can you can everyone see that look at that 100 people giving you $85 i want you to feel this and try it on that's all you need to do to make it people we try to make this so busy but it's it's all in the mind who thinks when they look at that well i can really make six figures i just got to find 50 people who are willing that i can deliver at least $170 worth of value to right this it's not it's not much nice michelle and so the thing is is as you know, your past will limit you because it's full of employee mentors. Let me check in. Who's enjoying today? I feel like I'm just going and going and going and going. Who's enjoying today? Give me a yes if you're enjoying today. Who's with me today? Who's understanding it? Because I'm trying to make sure you see the plan. I should, I'm hoping to make sure that you see it all and that you get the plan together. You're taking notes. You're understanding it. Because here is the truth. Us will limit you more than anything because it's proven and safe. It's proven and safe. And that's all it is. It's not any more true. It's just that it's proven to you. So there are four ways that we keep ourselves safe. And I want to explain these to you because I've spoken to over 130,000 people in live events, over 8,000 people in private, really personal and intimate sessions. And here's what I got, got to let you know. I'm just like you. I remember sitting in my very first audience with Anthony Robbins and he was up there in front of it. And he said, the next thing that I've got to do is I want to show you how to do this. I want to show you how to do that. And I knew in my heart, I said, I'm going to be a speaker. I said, I'm that. I said, I'm a motivator. I'm an inspiration. I'm that. I said, that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to make money. I'm going to change lives. I'm going to do what he's done. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. And he said, I have a mentorship. And I went, I want that. I want it 100%. And then he goes, it's $60,000 US. And I'm like, you big American beep. And I looked up at him and I thought, how dare you with all this money? How dare you? And so he came over and we're talking and he, and he said to me, well, Chris, do you want to do the program? I said, yeah, he said, well, why? And I said, well, Tony, I've never felt this way before. I know this. It's the truth. You're my mentor. I want to do it. I want to be a speaker. I want to change the world. I want to, I'm unlike you. I want to do all these things. And he, uh, you know, he looked at me and he said, well, why don't you? I said, well, dude, you know, like, 60 grand, man. He said, well, it's 5,000 a month. And I, and I said, oh, okay. And I go, no, nah, well, actually, man, you know, the truth is I've never done anything like this before, man. You know, I've, I've never been successful. I've done anything. I'm, I'm, I'm not like you. So you don't know where I'm from, man. I'm from a small town, Pori Rua, just north of Wellington in New Zealand. There's there's, I come from this tiny place. You're from you're from LA, man. You got you know. I'm from this. I'm. We don't have business genes, man. I'm from New Zealand. There's only three million people there. I was like, so I say to him, you know, I'm like, I'm not that. And he looked at me and he said, Well, Chris, what would the person that you're becoming do right now? Oh, I'm not him. And then he said, Well. I said, I guess he'd probably do the course. And who's with me right now? Next thing is, I go, well, the truth is, is it's, it's not really the right time, man. It's not the right time. I'm going to, I've got other stuff to do, man. I'm, I'm looking after this. I, you know, I was single at the time. I've got to I organize this relationship. I've, I've started this water filter business, you know, speak it up. Dude, it's not the right time. And, and, you know, it continued. I said to him, well, the truth, I don't even know. I don't really know much about what it is that you do and how to do this. I don't even know how to do this. I need a certification. I need more. Fat. I don't even know. And I said, and honestly, man, I've got a water filter business. I've started this new MLM. I've got this other thing going on here. I've got this. And he just said to me, let me straight in the eye. He said, stop. It stop. Stop right now. He said, what would the person, what would the person you're becoming do right now? He said, Chris, stand up. He said, move your body, shake your body, stand over here. He said, what would the person you're becoming do right now? And I said, 
he'd be in that course. He says, right, sign the form. You've got two weeks. You've got two weeks to make your first payment. How are you going to do it? You've got to find 5,000 US. I'm thinking this is like eight grand New Zealand. I'm like, how am I going to do it? And that changed me because in that moment, I was the new person. I signed the form. There was no way I was not paying him. He said, you don't pay me. I'm going to come to you. I'm going to do this. I stood up in front of this huge audience. I said, I'm going to do it. I changed my identity. I changed it right there on the spot. I did everything I'm teaching you. I went out. I asked friends. I went to banks. I did everything. I made the first payment. And then guess what? This By what I learned in that first month, paid the second payment. I got it. I went there. I spent a year learning from him. It changed my freaking life. And yet I still see the same people. I see the same people go through the exact same patterns again and again and again. And I want to explain these. I want you to write them in. The first pattern that people are in is they hold on to the past. Write it down. The first thing that you'll do is hold on to the past. You'll say, I've never done it before. I can't do it. Hold on to the past. The second pattern is I'll do it later. If then, then I'll write it in. If then, then I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. The next one overthinks. It says, I've got to think. I've got to think. I've got to think. I've got to think about it. Next one says, I've got so many things on. I've got so many things on. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. And here's what they've all got to understand. Number one, the past does not determine your future. You cannot drive to your future looking in the rear view mirror. Number two, if you just keep putting off your life, when are you going to step into it? Are you going to stand on your freaking deathbed saying, I'm going to do it in the next lifetime? You can't keep saying, you do it later, you do it later, you do it later, because later never comes. The overthinker needs to understand this. You can't get all the information until you start. It's like trying to learn how to play football, sitting in the grandstand reading a book. You can't learn it until you start. And the dabbler has to understand that your dabbling is from your head and your heart knows what to do. Follow your heart, take action. And I had to do it. And here's the thing is once you make that decision, we then do exactly what we went through yesterday. And wasn't it a powerful, powerful session yesterday? Oh, who loved yesterday? First, you decide and you make the decision. Now, we've all made decisions this week. Then you see it in perfect completion. And then you neural and emotionally embed it. And this is such a crucial thing. And we do this in the Magnetic Mind Masterclass, our 12-week process. We do this every single day. And then once a week, you jump on and you do it with me. What does my next week look like? Where am I going next? How am I going to get there? Then we guide you to see it done perfectly for you, not for us, not for anyone else. You see it done in your mind's eye. And then we help you to feel the feelings of this already happening and train your body to change. So a quick question. How many of you would like me to do another one of those processes today? I've got, a, I've got one, but if I get enough people to give me a yes, I've got another one in store. Who wants it? Give me a yes, even out there on Facebook. I'm considering it. Wayne's like, you already know the answer, mate. Wayne, I know the answer, but I enjoy asking you to give me the answer that I want because it's kind of part of my game. <laughs> so brain plasticity is important. He's like, yeah, 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 I get it, mate. I get it, mate, but you're going to do it. I am. And so the truth is, is that the brain changes. And we saw a beautiful video um, yesterday. And so I thought I would show you it again um, so that you understand how the brain changes. And it, it's so important to, to know that our brain is always malleable and it's always able to create these sort of changes. And, and that's what's, what's crucial is that we know we can make that change. We know that we can recode. By the way, who loves this video? Because I freaking love it. I, I mean, I'll just watch it recode like that. I think it's just, uh, I just think it's absolutely freaking awesome. Because that's, that's what you must understand. You must change your beliefs, your entanglements with your family, your limiting emotions, your unconscious desires and rules, your worthiness, your conflicting parts and cognitive dissonance. You must change all of this. Otherwise, you will just be pulled back you will be pulled back to where you've been because who remembers tension? I didn't even do a recap on that today, but who remembers the tension? You've got to move into this new way of being. This tension, you must resolve it to come to here. And this is so crucial, okay? I want you to really get this. We're going to step you into your future identity now. And then we must resolve any tension that starts to pull you back. 
And that's how we do it. It's the reverse of healing. Healing goes and looks for stuff to heal. We go into our future. We live it. We take actions. We're in alignment. And then as stuff comes up, we, that's when we align it back in. And that's the key step. That's what billionaires taught me. They said, live from here. That it was huge. You must understand tension. And here's what's really freaking fascinating about that tension and understanding that. No, I'll cover that. I'll cover that later. I'll cover that later. It's important though. So it's crucial that you, you rewire and understand all of these, okay? Many people think they can't change and they've already tried. Uh, the truth is, is it's not about that. It's about your willingness to change and your willingness to listen and apply. Your brain's not broken. It can change. It doesn't matter if you think you're not talented enough or you don't know, and it doesn't even matter where you are now. It matters your willingness to learn, your willingness to apply yourself. And that's the truth. And so in order to learn anything to be new, all you have to do is create neural pathways because the person you are is just a learned identity. That's all you are. Really get that. Who you are now is just a learned identity. And some even say, well, this won't work for me. It has nothing to do with you. You are not special enough <laughs> to be the only human being that can't rewire and learn something new. You're just not that special. Is it true? <laughs> Even though we might like to think it, oh, it won't work. No, you're not that special. You can learn things. You can forget things. If you don't use it, you will lose it. So I've got a process I'm going to do with you, but here's what I want to do first. I want to take you through the 12-week process before I do the big session, um, before I do the, the closed eye session with you. So let me just ask, how many of you would love, absolutely adore to spend the next 12 weeks on this vibe in a group with me, a small selection of others as we go through and deep dive in this process? Who would love to spend the next 12 weeks doing that? We have weekly calls, two of them. We have morning rituals. We have med we have all sorts of stuff. It's huge. Give me a yes if you are open to hearing about it, because if there's enough, what I'll do is I'll share with you the process now so we get it out of the way, and then we can go all in on the meditation. Does that sound good? Cool. Cool. This will amplify any other program that you have, including Amplify. All right, waiting all week for this. Okay, so I want to introduce you to the Magnetic Mind Masterclass. It is huge. It is exciting. I'm going to be letting some of you into this page later. This is the process if you want to shift your identity and step into your dream life. I need some excitement. Who's all in for this? It is massive. We're excited to let you know that the Magnetic Mind Masterclass is an exclusive business incubator for entrepreneurs who want to get rid of one day, someday, make great money and have time to do what you love. And here's what I want you to know. Now is your time. It's your time right now to step up and realize that you are the person that's going to do it all. So here's what we're going to shift. And by the way, I'm going to be sending this link to you. I'm just letting you know what it's about. Who's excited? Who can feel it in their stomach already? This is something they need to do. Before we go there, though, let's step back and look at what you need to shift. Number one, your emotions, right? They control you. Those lingering fears, those frustrations, all these little things. I'm not that. The self-doubt. That is in the way. Who's with me? Right or true if you know your emotions are the thing stopping you. True. The next is your identity. Your identity has been stopping you. You must shift. If you've been successful up until now, it's a brand new identity as you shift. The next thing, the do-it-all-yourself hard work mentality. That's got a shift. That you're too busy. I'm too busy. You got to stop being too busy. You've got a huge game to play. 
and you must shift your support network. So meet me, your coach, over 12 weeks. There's some stuff about me there. We'll skip that. It's a huge thing, and I want to take you through it. We've helped lots of people go big in this. Here's a list of all the things that are in there. It's massive. Let me ask a question. How many of you, if money was no object, because you know there's going to be investment, know this is something for you? Give me a yes if you know that if it wasn't about money, you'd be all in right now, because I want to talk you through exactly what's in it. Here's the truth. There is nothing like this. You get one-on-one -on -one support. You get a group session with me. There has never been anything done this. There's nothing's been done like this. That's why we only allow 27. Rochelle and Hannah are on here. I've only got Rochelle and Hannah. I don't have a thousand coaches. I don't have that size yet. I'm wanting to get to that size, but at the moment, that's what I've got. So I can only take 27 on at a time. Okay. You get lifetime access to a whole of the meditations, 90 days of support, a lenses. You get this huge program. I've got it up here. This is part of what you get. There's all these sessions that are pre recorded. They're all in here. You can get started and you can go through total mind control, belief repatterning, remove negative emotions. You just click onto a different one. You go through this next thing, the foundation, six phases of success. There's so much in here, it's phenomenal. There's a whole meditation vault of things I've been gifted. Who thinks this looks pretty cool? This is the online platform that you get to be a part of. It's massive. I'll go into it. Uh, I'll go into it even more. There's just so much in here for me to even start going into it. It's much easier on this page. You get 90 days of live support with me in the group. Lifetime access to what I just showed you, plus all the meditations. You get a one-on-one -on -one lenses planning session. You get a weekly group training with me. You get a weekly training with the Fast Track coaches, Hannah and Rochelle. So my question is, are you ready for this? Because these are exactly what we're going to go through. Week one, we will unpack your macro and micro lenses. We'll get you super clear. Week two, we will create your new identity. Who's excited? Week three, internal emotional transmutation. Week four, perceptual shift. Week five, we will crush procrastination, create an inner fire. Week six, we'll white out the emotions that are keeping you stuck. Week seven, we'll dissolve your inner conflicts. Week eight, we'll create a quantum shift. Week nine, we'll clear constraint and forward focus. Week 10, high vibe leading, living in flow. Give me a yes if it looks pretty dang good to you. Week 11, we'll go through the matrix, the two point and the double bubble. Week 12, family entanglements. Week 13, the action sprint and review. And every week, live with me, we'll be going through it all. It is massive. It is everything I've been obsessed about for the last decade and more. You get a full online training worth $2,000 for free. And we've just updated this so that there is a huge meditation hub here where I have put, like that session we did yesterday, all sorts of different meditations that you can download so that your morning starts off like this. Find yourself in a comfortable spot. With me leading you through some of the huge processes I've been given. I give you a message to market program, a full marketing program to get started and an effective entrepreneur program so you can plan your day. It's limited to 27 only and it's absolutely huge. So that's the program. And can I ask how many of you would love to be in that program? Because that's the next step. The next step after doing the five days is to join me for three months, is to join us and to make a huge transformation. There's hundreds of you on this call uh, right now, and it, it will be in Aussie dollars. There's hundreds of you on this call right now. I can only take 27. So what I'm going to do is I want to finish off the challenge with an absolutely 
awesome closed eye process. Are you guys excited about that? And then after I finish that, I'll open up for all of you who want to join the program. So I will open it up and you can all go in there and the first 27 are in this time are in. And uh, that sounds really, really good. So you guys all clear and ready to do a really cool session. Have you guys had a fucking great five days? Did I just let go with a swear word? I did so well for five days. I didn't swear once. What a letdown that I did it right at the end. But I was just passionate just then. I hope you guys have been excited. You're ready to go. So here's my question. What would you like to create in 90 days? Type it in. Let's create that with our minds right now. What would you like to create in the next 90 days? Type it in, let me know, and let's create perfect completion that's neural and emotionally embedded, and let's really, really feel it. What would you like to create? Don't write that down. Write the answer down. Someone wrote in, what would you like to create in 90 days? Or well, maybe you wrote the answer too. <laughs> yeah, write the answer down. Write the answer. My branding. What would you like to create financially? What would you like your business to be like? Make a decision. The first step is to decide, and then we're going to create this in the invisible. I can see all of you saying that you want to be in, and I'm sorry that not all of you are going to be able to join this time. Nice. 20000 per month, my branding. Online program launch and bringing in income. Easy. Easy. Awesome. What else would you like to create in 90 days? 5K passive income. Nice. Nice. 50,000 a month. That's a big three months. Awesome. Awesome. 50 a month. Fantastic. Nice. Is that we're going we're gonna to do that in more? Nice. Cool. One more minute to type it in. Boom, Scott, let's make that happen. 10,000 a month in 90 days. Earn enough to quit your job. Love it, Emma. You have to. 90 days is going to set up your year. Cool. Give me a yes or a why if you're ready to go. Let's go. Give me a yes or a why. I want to I wanna see at least 50, at least half of you. I want to see at least 60 of you type in a yes Nice, Tracy. Come on, give me a yes if you're ready to go. Sign up already? How'd you do that? Oh, it's Giselle. Yeah. All right, cool. Looks like everybody's ready. So just find yourself in a quiet spot and uh, just put down your pens, put down your, your phone and just listen to my voice, put your headphones in. And actually, I might sit down for it as well. Got my uh, speaker chair here. I look like a midget for a moment. Maybe I'll do that. I've got water, Deborah. I'm, I'm all good. Thank you for being so caring. Appreciate it. So go ahead and close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I want you to bring up the picture of that goal in your mind. I want you to bring up that picture of that goal in your mind and take a few big, deep breaths and just relax for a minute. Just relax. Connect into yourself, relax from the top of your head and start relaxing down. That's it. Just take another couple deep, relaxing breaths and, and allow yourself to relax. The more you relax, the more it becomes easy. And the more it becomes easy, the more you want to relax. And just, just feel good. I want you to imagine that you've been transported now 90 days 
out into the future. And it's the morning. It's the morning and you're waking up. I want you to imagine it's the morning and you're waking up exactly where you're going to be in 90 days. Just notice what comes up for you. You may feel it. You may see it. You may just know that you're there. I want you to just notice that you've got this new sense, this new feeling about you. Because something's different. Something's changed. And you've almost forgotten that you go along in your morning like normal. And that you notice that there's a text message on your phone. And it's, it's from me. And you look down or you feel it or you notice it and the text says, congratulations on hitting your goal. And you instantly realize and feel exactly how it would feel to have hit that goal. And somehow you catch yourself looking, looking down at the phone. And then the phone sort of shuts off or goes, goes dark. And you can just see your reflection in the phone like a little mirror. And just imagine that you can. And you're looking down at this phone and you can see yourself. And you look right at yourself and you say, well done. Well done. And you ask yourself, how good does it feel right now to have hit this goal? And it really starts to hit you that you've hit that goal. And you notice that if you can hit this goal, what else can you do? And you start realizing what else you could do. And the feeling starts to get bigger. You're just connecting with yourself and you get emotional. You feel it. You realize that you finally took yourself on. You finally did it. You finally created a success result that you wanted. You did it. And you connect with yourself and you go, yes, yes. And as that feeling starts to grow, it gets bigger and bigger inside of you. And just let it get bigger. Don't worry about it. Allow it to get bigger. It's like you're celebrating. I want you to feel as though you're celebrating. You're feeling just as though you've achieved what it is that you want to achieve. And allow the feeling to get bigger and fill whatever room that you're sitting in. Allow that feeling to get bigger and bigger and fill the whole room. As soon as it starts to fill the whole room, you'll feel it like vibrating out of your toes, shooting out of your fingers and coming out the top of your head. And just notice what color it is as it fills the room. Do you notice it's a certain color? Is it sparkling? Is it rainbows? Is it purple? Is it blue? Is it red? Is it yellow? Is it clear? Or does it have no color at all? And as the feeling gets bigger, now fill the whole house with this feeling. That's it. Fill the whole house with this feeling and then allow it to get bigger. It's almost like bursting out of you now. It's like a volcano erupting at the top of your head. This feeling is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's getting so big that it's now taken up your whole city until it takes up the whole world. It's so big. And then all of a sudden, I want you to have all of that feeling start making its way back to you. And faster it goes all the way back to you until it hits you right in the chest. And you just feel so grateful. And you look back towards your past and you thank that brave version of you that took action, made it happen, and created a millionaire mind. What message would the person in the future like to send back to the person here now? Send that message back. Thank you. Thank you for taking, taking a chance on us. Thank you for believing. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for overcoming our old patterns. Thank you. You did it. Thank you.
And when you're done, you can follow your energy back here. That was great. You can open your eyes, come back into your body, back into the session. Congratulations. Congratulations on finishing the five day challenge. How do you feel? How do you feel right now? Congratulations, well done. It's been a big five days, but it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. You're in square one. It's time to go to the next step.